Do you want to learn how to make custom structures in vanilla Minecraft? Well, today I'll show you how to do just that. We'll first start by making our custom structure and then get it spawning naturally within the game. If this sounds at all helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm pretty new to the YouTube scene and it would help me out a ton. Now, when your structure spawns, whatever blocks are at the bottom of your structure will actually end up spawning down in the ground. So to keep this from happening, we can raise them up using structure voids. Structure voids pretty much just render out as empty values in our structure, so they won't override any of the blocks that are already there, but we can use them to raise up our structure. Now, it can be annoying to tell where these are, so I'm going to find the corner so we can see they stop here. And I know I want this corner because if I hit F3, you can see the red and blue lines point out in the direction of my structure. So I'm going to put a structure block here. I'm going to open it, set it to save mode, and the relative position is 1, 0, 1. The structure size is going to end up being 3 by 4 by 3. I'm going to turn Show Invisible Blocks on and click Detect, and now we can see all our invisible blocks here. Now, I can't just place my gold on top because it will override the structure voids, so I'm going to place it up and over like this. And just fill that out. I'll put the torches on, and the netherrack, and fire. So now, since the structure voids render as blank in our structure, it can actually save space, especially with big structures, to fill all air with the structure voids. One way to do that is you can do set block, find one part of your structure, take down the coordinates, and do structure void, and then come to the other side, and I'm going to do the same command, but I'm going to replace the set block with fill, the coordinates, and we need to do replace air, so it only replaces air. And you can see all our air is now structure voids. So now that you've done that, you can come back in here, give it a name, I'm going to call it shrine, and just hit save. Of course, you can turn on entities if you want to. And now we need to go into our world folder. We can do that by quitting, going back to single player, finding our world, clicking on edit, and open world folder. Now in here, you should see this folder called generated. And if we go in here, we can find the NBT for our structure. So make sure you copy this. Now we need a data pack. So in data packs, I already have a basic data pack set up here, which is just empty. So in here, we need to put a folder called structure, just like this, and we can paste it in here. It can be nice if you're using a lot of structures to put them in folders, but I'm only using this, so there's no real need to do that. So going back here, I'm going to make a new folder called worldgen. And in here, I need three folders, one called structure, one called structure underscore set, and one called template underscore pool. Now just to help, I'm going to open this data pack in Visual Studio Code, and I'm using the data pack helper plus extension. So under WorldGen, in all of these, we need to create a file called shrine.json, basically just match your structure name. So I'm going to create one in each of these. And now to fill these out, there's a helpful tool we can use. At meso.github.io, it has plenty of useful generators for data packs, and you can see the three here that we're going to use. To find them, go to all generators, scroll down a bit, and you should find them here. So I'm going to open all of them. Let's start with structure. So the type is going to be a jigsaw. The biomes, we can put the biomes that we want. So 
I'll just make ours spawn in the planes. The step, I'm going to set mine to a surface structure. Terrain adaptation, I'm just going to use none. Spawn overrides, we can leave blank. Start pool will reference our template pool, so it needs to be our namespace, so to tutorial colon shrine. The size, I'll just put one. Start height, we want absolute and zero. The start jigsaw name, we can leave blank. Project start to height map, I'll use world surface world gen. Max distance from center, I'll just put one again. And use expansion hack, I will set to false. So just copy this and paste it in here. Next, we have our template pool. Name, I'll use tutorial shrine, just like that. Fallback, we can set to Minecraft colon empty. Add elements, we'll leave weight at one. Basically, if you were going to have multiple, the higher the weight, the higher chance that this will be rolled. Element type, I'll use single pool element. Projection, I'll use rigid. Location, I want tutorial, colon, shrine. Processors, I'll just put string. We can make this empty as well. And override liquid settings, I'll just do ignore water logging. Copy this. Paste it in your template pool. Last, we have the structure set generator. We need to add our structure, so to tutorial shrine we'll leave weight as one since it's just this one the type i'll use a random spread spacing is the average number of chunks between your structures so i'm going to use 25 separation is the minimum so i'll use five and if we zoom out yeah that looks okay you can reload to use a different seed but i'm pretty happy with this so i'll just copy this paste it in here now that that's done, let's go back into Minecraft. Now this world won't work because I don't have generate structures on, so I'll make a new one. I'll just make it a creative world, and in data packs, I'll open the pack folder, and copy our data pack into here. So, just paste it like that. Make sure to enable it, and create new world, yes. Since I'm not in a planes, we won't have any spawning here, so I'm going to do slash locate structure tutorial shrine, and we can teleport here. Up here, we have our structure. So hopefully this helped you out. Like I said at the beginning, if it did, please consider subscribing. I'm pretty new to the YouTube scene, and it would help me out a ton. But with that, see ya!